The following portion of Good Day PA is sponsored by Members First Federal Credit Union. Are you financially literate? What's that even mean? Well, April is National Financial Literacy Month. Chad Adams from Members First joins us this morning to discuss the importance of financial literacy. And first of all, you're new to Good Day PA because you're new to Members First. That's right. Yeah, I started back in December. It was December 11 last year. Um, getting up to speed now. My family is still down in Bethesda, Maryland. We're making the move. I have a temporary spot here. Um, but I'm really looking forward to settling in Central PA, and I know that it's going to be a wonderful place to raise my two daughters. And uh, I'm coming here from the Credit Union Trade Association that represents all federal credit unions before Congress and the administration. So I have worked with Members First for the last 13 years. I have seen them as a beacon of light on the hill of credit unions. The culture that we have there is unbelievable, and I could not be more happy to have joined them. That's terrific. Well, welcome Thank to the you. area. It will be a Thank great you. place to raise your girls, for sure. Um, this time, uh, this month, we're raising awareness about the importance of financial literacy. First, you know, gosh, what is financial literacy? How important is it? Well, financial literacy is just the ability to know the difference between what will work for you and what won't. Um, there are so many different products out there that we have to navigate today. Some of them may work for you, some of them may not. So. It's really important just, just to know the basics, and once you have those basics and know what's going to work for you, uh, you can go from there. And we have many, many educational resources to help people figure that out for them. How important is it to start you know, educating yourself early? Well, we have found that the earlier you start, the more grasp a child will have that will help them make better decisions as they grow. We have actually, uh, we're lucky that we have a partnership with uh, attorney, well, the Auditor General's office, along with Harrisburg University and uh, several other organizations that believe the same thing that we do, which is starting early will give the kids the foundation that they need to be fiscally literate once they grow up. For sure. I mean, it's definitely something my husband and I are trying to do with our children. What do you recommend that parents do to lay that foundation? You know, it's, it's great to start with the basics. Uh, I, I think it might be wise to bring a kid into maybe the discretion, discretionary spending part of the family budget. Uh, teach them about the things that they may not even know cost money, like uh, the service that their smartphone uses, mm -hmm. uh, electricity, water, the internet. Um, it's also important to teach them about the difference between wants and needs. And with certain types of savings behaviors, maybe award them with something from their wants list later on. An allowance never goes out of style. You know, I have two daughters, as I mentioned, nine and 13, and they love Sephora. And for <laughs> any of you who have ever yes. shopped at Sephora, you know that there's some really pretty packaging. Yes. And it's very expensive. Yes. So that has been an opportunity for me to teach my kids that just because it's pretty and it's packaged well, and it's that expensive doesn't mean that there aren't other products out there that are the exact same thing that just don't cost nearly as much. Or maybe you don't even need the product at all, right? Um, but it, it is a lot. It's a burden, I think, for parents. You worry. You, you really want to start that foundation and really uh, help your children grow in financial literacy. If parents have questions or, like, do you have resources that can help those parents? Absolutely. We are updating our website every single day with new educational materials, resources uh, at www.members1st.org or you can go to one of our almost 60 branches where we have associates that would be more than happy uh, to answer any questions that you have. Very good. We also have uh, partnerships with several organizations, uh, one being Green Path that offers specialized coaching uh, for our members and you can find out more information uh, on them on our website. Very good. Well, it's great to have you on the show. Great to have you in the area. Well, thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to joining Central PA and uh, meeting a lot of the people around here. Very good. And we look forward to having you back here well, on the sofa you. with us. Thank you so much. The previous portion of Good Day PA was sponsored by Members First Federal Credit Union.